Good morning. As I mentioned on the blog, we have been gone nearly every weekend. In fact, every weekend in the month of July, I've been gone. So a lot of the chores have been getting neglected. So I'm going to head down to the garden and try to get a little bit of weeding done. Before I head down there, I wanted to show you our cherry bush. It is growing like crazy. In fact, we'll probably have to move the rabbit hutch here before too long because it's going to be overgrown. And hopefully next year we'll have some decent uh, cherries. So let's head down to the garden. So as you can see, the garden has kind of gotten a little bit weedy. Somewhere in here, you can see the asparagus growing in a line down that way, but the Queen Anne's lace has overtaken that. So, and the garden proper has gotten pretty grassy. Not to the point where it's overgrown, but it's still not so good. So, let's get to weeding. I tried using an external mic on my camera and it didn't work, so we're going to try using a voiceover. While I was able to weed for about a half an hour, uh, which is about the amount of time that I thought I had with the kids being occupied, and you probably can't tell much difference from the beginning to now, I was able to get weeded around a lot of the plants to give them some space and some sunlight, um, but I'm never going to get it back ahead of all of these weeds. so. I did want to show you that when I was planting the garden, I had some extra space and some extra cilantro seeds, so I just made a trough with the uh, shovel I was using and was able to just plant, I think, three lines of cilantro here, and they're growing, and then another line of cilantro over on this side, and it's growing just fine, you know, I was just able to throw it down, and while I haven't been able to, you know, do much, the garden is still growing and we've got some peppers growing. I think these peppers right here are chocolate peppers or something of that nature. And then there's some tomatoes coming. You can probably see the cherry tomatoes over there. Um, and those will be eaten in a hurry because our children love tomatoes. So despite not doing much with the garden it's still growing and you can see I was able to weed on either side of the asparagus over here I can't even remember what I planted over here uh, some carrots I think so but over here I was able to weed on either side of the asparagus plants and I've never done asparagus before so this will be my first attempt at that and they seem to be doing well I know we're not supposed to get a harvest from them in the first year but um, they look like they're growing well and hopefully next year we'll be getting some asparagus. I think we've got some cabbage growing right here. You can see the small little cabbage head starting to, to form. And uh, we've got some Swiss chard, rainbow chard, uh, broccoli and things of that nature. So despite not doing much at all with the garden, uh, it's been doing pretty well without me. So. The cool part about weeding is you pay yourself immediately. The animals 
love the plants. And whether it be the cow or the sheep or the chickens, something will eat the plants. Now I wasn't sure about the Queen's Anne, Queen Anne's lace, but Oreo seems to like it just fine. And in a half an hour of weeding, I probably pulled 40 or 50 pounds of weeds. And yes, that was because it was way overgrown, but still turn, you know, weeds, which are an unwanted, into a food source, which turns into either milk or beef or lamb or wool. So that's kind of cool. So, well, until next time, it's getting too hot. I'm uh, sweating my tail off already, and it's only 10 o'clock, and it's uh, supposed to get up to, I believe, low 90s with high humidity today. So I'm going back inside. Talk to you guys next time. I chose the wrong footwear for gardening.